Okay, Andrew, so we have the first four introductory screens. As we go across like this, they should be the same as what's in Slack. As I've already logged in, the Facebook button is not appears, but usually the Facebook button will appear here. Um, but I have already logged in, so we've just got a continue button this time. So this is the full list of exercises. And each of the exercises have a few different attributes associated with them, whether there's like a, a, a new Boolean, a new tag. Um, also in the uh, Slack images, you'll notice that there's also like a little lock icon. So we show the lock icon for the items which are locked as well. And we don't show it for those that are. I don't think we quite implemented that in the current version. Um, as you click through into one of the episodes, I've just clicked on appreciate. We then just got like the title, the subtitle, who it's from. Um, I'll, give, I'll get you access to PARS, the database. I can't remember if I did that for you already. So you can check that out. Um, and then the information here, unlock all episodes, loads up the payment screen. Just gonna slide it up from, from below. Share episode loads up this sort of the default um, uh, the default device specific share options. Um, so there's no like added functionality here. I think it's just some sort of call in Swift or somehow. And then we've got the author site which loads up sort of uh, an in-app browser, um, the Safari in-app browser, which directs them to a particular page that was stored against this particular uh, author, this particular episode. So if you click through to play episode, the first screen is about like getting ready. What are the preparation items you need to do? And then we go through again to choose a voice. Um, and we could have, you know, one, two, three, four voices here. Most of them have two. A few of them just have one at the moment. Um, and then Let's Play creates this kind of a play screen where we're just simply streaming the audio from, at the moment, one of Joe's, Joe's server. I don't, don't even think this is on AWS. I think this is just his own personal server where they stream from. Um, but it's been a bit slow. Yesterday I was trying to do it from here and it was being a bit slow as well. So that's probably something we need to look at. There's also, he also integrated AirPlay as well, which is pretty neat. But there's no... Um, there's no need for that right now. That's to, uh, an add-on pretty easy. So what I, we've also got like a, a cheeky little sort of shortcut bug. So if I tap the screen 10 times, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it shows the episode completion page, which also automatically appears once the audio is finished playing, or um, as we've just got that little, that little hack in so we can just bug test. Um, and then once it's complete, um, we also have a link to the episode feedback page um, which again just loads up the in-app browser which takes them to a type form where we can learn more about the app um, or learn about their, those guys experience with with, with Play. Um and then you can click done and it just takes you back to this page with sort of a little completion that episode is now complete which is a little um at the moment I think we store it as like a little custom value like in the locals some of the local cache of that particular iPhone but um, we're about to be building out a, a user authentication system actually on PARS. So it might be worth us having another chat about this. Um, in order to um, prove the numbers we need for investors, um, Joe is about to build out a few extra features in the iOS app. One of them being full, uh, full a full login system for everybody. At the moment we have either you, face, you log in with Facebook or you skip it and you don't have to log in. But we need everybody to log in so we get everybody's email address so that we can market to them appropriately. So it doesn't make sense for you to build out that user authentication system twice if Joe's already building it. So it might make sense that you figure out how to plug into PARS and plug into the authentication system through PARS and Facebook um, uh, with him uh, into this, this JavaScript React version of Pillow Play. Um, so we should have another chat about that soon and maybe I'll introduce you to Joe so you guys can, can connect. Um, so that's, that's, that's like a basic walkthrough.
obviously if some of the episodes are, are locked, oh, all of these are open right now because I've enabled them to be... Oh, interesting. So even though I'm completely unlocked, I can still click on the unlock all episode button. Mm, so that's a little bug actually. Even though all my episodes are locked, I can still press this button. So that shouldn't work. Anyway, lots still to do. Um, and then obviously at the top right, we have the little burger menu button where we have a few different items in this menu. The how to use pillow just takes you to an in-app, again the in-app browser which kind of loads up. The share is the same share button as before, which gives the option of just sharing the link. Although that button, yeah, is that. Feedback again takes you to that type form which uh, appears at the end of each exercise. Again, the blog takes you to our blog with the in-app browser. Facebook does the same thing. Twitter does the same thing. Restore purchases is like a mandatory, a mandatory thing for um, uh, for any iOS apps which have in-app purchases um, set up. We've got all content unlocked. Oh, I guess that's some sort of status or communication that once... Ah, ah, I didn't realise that Joe had done that. So we also have like um, another little feature which allows us to offer free access to people. So if a, uh, if say an expert or a journalist wants to check out the app, we can throw their details into the database and then when they log in and when they sort of, they can then go to like the settings area of the iPhone, type in their credentials and then it unlocks everything for them. So I think that kind of all content unlocked is just like a status communication. Then we've got replay introduction, we reset play count, so you know when it says this this episode is complete, like that resets that. You can also log out of Facebook. So that's kind of it's kind of it. But it'd be good to just get like you know the the basis of the app running right now, like episodes simply playing the list of episodes pulling from the database, the images pulling through, like that's just a nice, a nice starting point for us. Um, but yeah, hopefully that gives you a good walkthrough. Um, drop me any more questions on Slack. Oh, I haven't invited you to Slack yet. I will do that too. All right. Okay. Catch you soon, mate. That's um, 200 megabytes of video I just recorded. <laughs> so I better stop. Okay. Catch you soon. Cheers, bye.